the Chiron in southwestern France. I do love eating my dinner outside. It is so lovely and it's been so nice today. Although I've been indoors all day. Um, yeah, got up to nearly 30 degrees today. Oh, absolutely, absolutely lovely. A little bit toasty. Although, see the weather for next week. God, I really hope, I really hope uh, they've got it wrong because um, yeah, 41 degrees. Yeah, that's, that, sounds, uh, that sounds pretty awful to me. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd um, give you a bit of a catch up really. Uh, yeah, I've been a busy boy uh, in the house. Um, yeah, what I was gonna show you, this um, butternut squash, not doing anything. Got loads of tomatoes. Uh, what I was gonna say, these uh, melons are doing what I said they should do. Do you remember I said, um, that these, start, these bits start to go brown and crusty, that means they're ripe. So maybe tomorrow I'll cut one of them in half. I've got some massive tomatoes. I mean, they're just, they're just ridiculous. I mean, there's one over here, which just, it's just absolutely massive. And it's got a nasty mark on the top of it. I think it had something rubbing up against it. Um, yeah, what I was gonna show you, sorry, dodgy camera work as per usual. Um, Oh, I should, uh, I should pick that, shouldn't I, while I'm here. I've got, um, yeah, I've got about five of these. Look at the size of that, which is ridiculous. Got about five of these um, in the house. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting, kind of getting a little bit bored of um, courgette, if I'm honest. Does that happen to everyone? You get bored of what you grow. Uh, I'll quickly show you, I showed you these the other day, and someone said to me, do sometimes you get a message in the comment section and it throws you a little bit. Uh, but someone said to me um, that what's growing in my compost could well be potatoes and they do set some, some kind of seed. Well, just to be doubly sure, they are definitely tomatoes. Now, all I did, I got fed up with my seeds that I was growing I was growing in my cold frame. I, try, I started them too early. I think I started them in April and it was just too early, too cold, not enough light, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, I just um, gave up through the compost on the compost heap uh, because they weren't growing. And then they started to grow. So yeah, maybe I just need to be, just need to be more patient. Uh, you know, it's really my first year or two of growing, isn't it? And. Uh, I'm quite surprised, but being in France, you didn't really get growing until the end of May. And I just thought it was gonna be like, you know, end of March, April. But anyway, you live and learn, don't you? Gotta show you my uh, nectarine tree. Now this is its first year, and I only bought, bought that, oh, I don't know when I bought that, not long ago. And it hasn't been in the ground very long. And these nectarines, how big will these get? Are these gonna stay small like this? Any experts? Oh no, one fell on the floor. Oh no, I've only got about six. <laughs> oh dear, I think I'll leave that alone. Um, so yeah, I was gonna show you. My lettuce, any experts in the house? My lettuce has bolted. Um, I'm pretty sure it's because it's been toasty warm this last, um, this last week, I suppose. And uh, yeah, so those three there are just about to go into flour um and yeah I've, I've i do continually eat lettuce but um there's so much you can eat isn't there um so i only had about six i only had about six or seven plants and that's turned out to be plenty so maybe i should try and keep the seeds oh look look what i've just spotted another one go on bennett looks like i'm uh looks like i'm gonna have to learn to like courgette really um, so yeah, just when it's one person, you can quite easily feed yourself. Um, and what else can I show you? Yeah, I'll show you what I've been up to in the house in a minute, actually. Uh, oh, I still have some beans going. Um, and I did end up with far more of these than I thought I was going to. There is, you know, actually there's probably another, probably another half a pound on there. Um, so yeah, done all right with my beans this year. Um, I did give quite a few away last year, but I think I'll just freeze what I've got. Um, so yeah, I think that'll do for the garden. Show you what I've been up to this uh, last couple of days, well yesterday mainly. Um, yeah, I've been a busy boy today. I um, 
I went out yesterday and picked up uh, a couple of rolls of loft insulation and uh, yeah I was trying to work out so expensive everything's so expensive now trying to work out what I should be doing um, insulating this wall the partition wall around the bedroom and adding to the loft insulation but all the insulation I was looking at online were like 10 pound a meter or 10 euros a meter 12 euros a meter and I came across um, uh, fiber, some fiberglass information, uh, insulation, it's uh, four inches or 100 millimeters thick. And I found a, I think it's a 10, a 10 meter roll. Yeah, 10 meter roll by 1.2 meters wide. So 12 square meters, and it worked out just over four euros a meter, square meter. So like a third of the price of some. And uh, yeah, I've been busy today, and I'll show you in my next video what I've been up to and uh, oh actually i've got something else to talk to you about in my next video if you wear glasses you'll be interested in my next video um, so yeah just show you how i finished the wall so uh yeah i'm not good at this i'm not good at this uh this lime mortar malarkey it is just not my strong point at all not that i actually feel that i've got many strong points um, but I have been really, really busy and I've done it as neat as possible to get rid of all the gaps. Uh, I've just got to, you know, put a bit of caulking around uh, the edges of those piece of timber, uh, pieces of timber. Um, so it's going to be neater than it was and obviously draft free, which was the object. Um, and then, oh, so silly, I went out, I got some uh, insulation yesterday, I forgot to pick up some timber and screws. So annoying, so annoying that I've got to go out again. Uh, just a quick thank you to my uh, fantastic uh, subscribers that um, hit the button on the coffee.com uh, page in the description. Yeah, helping me buy all of these bits and pieces. You are absolutely amazing. Anyway, so yeah, that bit's done. Uh, and I've got to play with that bit, um, well, next, I guess. Although I have started doing something over here. And uh, all of this is in pieces and... Um, yeah, I've started playing with some insulation, only to discover that I haven't decided upon where an air vent is going to go in this room. So I need to, I need to make a decision about that ASAP. Anyway, let's go down and see Dave and uh, give him a carrot. So uh, thank you for all your comments. Um, there was one comment in particular that I got and uh, it gave me the eebie-jeebies, actually, to be honest. Um, you know, I've been trying different paints on this little corner of the um, the kitchen the kitchen ceiling, and uh, now I've painted that corner so many times. I mean, it's got so much paint on it, I don't think I need step ladders anymore. Um, and um, yeah, the comment was, because I, um, I put oil-based paint on, I found an oil-based paint, didn't I, to try, just to try and get some white on the ceiling. And yeah, I put some oil-based paint on it. And the comment was, I won't be able to paint a water-based paint over an oil-based paint. And sort of my heart sank. I was like, really? Oh no, what a complete nightmare. So I have tried to paint <laughs> an oil, a, a, a water-based paint over an oil-based paint. And yeah, maybe, maybe you just can't. I just don't know what's going on with it. It did dry, it did stick the water-based paint. And I tried an emulsion, and then I tried a primer, and it's still um, it's still coming through. The dark is still coming through the white. I mean, it's whiter. Um, yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit brain damaging. I'm trying to think of a polite way to say, really, <laughs> without without being completely uh, fed up. But um, I was chatting to someone yesterday, and I've been told this by a neighbour actually. I said, oh, I don't know how I'm going to get it. I can't get the dark to disappear. And uh, I was told, yes, oh yeah, no, five coats of paint you need. And that's exactly what my neighbour said. Oh, it took me five coats of paint. I can't paint the whole house ceiling five, five times. Oh my God. It took, it took days just to give it one coat. Oh, I'm going to be painting the ceiling for the rest of my life. Anyway, so yeah, I'm still not 100% sure whether you can paint a water-based paint over an oil-based paint. I don't know. It did dry, it did stick. Um, anyway, it's kind of brain damaging. Say hello to everyone. Are you shaking your head to say, oh, where's my pear? Where's my apple? Give me something. He's, um, his eye 
although he does look like he's been crying tonight. Uh, his eye, this last week, has been really, really good. No pussiness or no nastiness, and I've given, given him a good clean every day. So, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it does look like he could do with the wipe now. But he's not pussy, is it? Looks like a carrot, sir. Right, are you going to drop it? Haven't quite worked how to eat it over the fence, have you? It's like crypt there. I, I knew he was going to drop some of it. Or lots of it. There you go. Oh, you banged your chin. You are clumsy, Colin. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh dear. Right. He's toasty warm, I've got to say. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really get a very good night's sleep last night. I was... Um, I was awoken this morning around quarter to six um, by a mouse or a rat playing hopscotch upstairs in the loft. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I did. I laid there for about half an hour and I was up in the loft trying to work out why I could hear footsteps on a wooden floor when that wooden floor is supposed to be covered in a uh, rock wall. And um, yeah, I did end up spending an hour up there, basically just going around and making sure. But the way the rock wall was put down, they're in um, eight foot by four foot sheets. They're not in big rolls. Um, and they're supposed to be eight inches thick. Well, they've been moved around a little bit up there over time by me moving furniture and whatnot. And yeah, gaps have appeared. And when you stand on this eight inch thick rock wall, it compresses down to about an inch, but it only springs back, back to, to about four inches. So yeah, little tip, once you lay it, lay the insulation in the loft, never walk on it, um, which is almost impossible, isn't it, if you want to use your loft. Um, so it's kind of my plan to lay some of this fiberglass insulation on top of the rock wall, just over that bedroom. So I spent some time today clearing where the bedroom is below, clearing it so I can just um, put some fresh down. So I'm not really sure what to do. Um, yeah, this rodent, is a nuisance because I can't have him waking me up five or six o'clock every morning or drive me mad so um, yeah and I don't like to kill things but I might have no choice but to uh, put some um, you know bait down or something uh, let me know what you do do you get rodents in your loft oh, what a nuisance what a nuisance aren't they anyway it's getting dark I think the nights are drawing in um, yeah that's it I'll see you maybe tomorrow yeah maybe tomorrow see you later